If you want to buy cheap and reliable Ultimate Team FIFA coins, then go to fifacoinszone.com. What's up guys, I'm TomRFC7 and welcome back to the Schalke Carrier Mode. We are third in the table and we are a whopping 8 points behind Borussia Dortmund. But we are 4 points ahead of Bayern Munich. It's a really been, it has been really a strange season. We had to shore up the defense, so I changed the, the formation to this 4-3-2-1 formation. And it worked a treat because in the last 2 games we won quite uh, brilliantly. So now we are off to buy a Leverkusen and this is going to be a huge huge game because they are a top top team in the Bundesliga. So let's try and win. Dortmund are playing Gladbach, Bayern are playing Wolfsburg so I, I expect the top teams to win here. Let's go! Welcome to the Bundesliga, Bayer Leverkusen against Schalke and I just, I just noticed after I did the, the intro for the episode that the second place team travel to the fourth place team so buy and play Wolfsburg which is a uh, brilliant for us because it can be possible that both teams drop points but one team will certainly drop points so if we win here against Leverkusen we can definitely make up ground on Wolfsburg I think Bayern will win at home so we can go level on points with Wolfsburg in second place and that's I think a minimum achievement that I want to do this season to finish at least second so but to be involved in the title race is absolutely brilliant let's go oh go oh what a run by the left back two brilliant skills did you see that guys oh that was stunning Draxler oh come on had it Oh, oh, what a chance. The first real chance of the game. Come on, Farfan, let's whip in a great cross. Matip, Matip, Matip. Ah, oh, what another another great chance. Wow, we are getting chances left, right and center. Muriel, yes, yes, Muriel once again shows why we paid a lot of money for him get in just one little burst of pace by Lewis Muriel and he buries that what a little burst of pace and he finishes it brilliantly Muriel is on the crack this season he has been firing in like goals like crazy in every game and that's a huge huge goal and I just heard that Dortmund got a red card in their game and it's still nil nil so there is a big chance that Dortmund will drop points as well. We, can, we could go 5 points behind them. 8 goals for Muriel already in the league, brilliant. No. Oh no, oh Ter Stegen, the defenders were falling over each other, damn it. Ter Stegen saves us, that's the Leverkusen's first real chance. Sam! Oh, <laughs> Sydney Sam, what a goal! Oh my days, take that goalkeeper! <laughs> what a celebration as well! Sydney Sam, he has a cannon of the left foot. Brilliant goal, curling, out, hitting the post, inside of the post and going in and that celebration, oh my days, I hope they show the slow motion version of the celebration because that was, yeah. <laughs> if this doesn't deserve a like guys, then I don't know what does. <laughs> Second goal for Sam in the Bundesliga, we are 2-0 out, brilliant. No. Oh, I knew it. The over the top through balls are so OP. I couldn't defend that. Kissling makes it 2 1. 
Hopefully that's just a consolation goal for Leverkusen. That's oh my days. That's really bad defending by my part. Let's make three substitutions. Santana, Holtby, and Höger coming on. We must keep this lead if we want to have a chance in the title race. Let's go. No! Oh! What a chance! Yes! Got him! Huge win! Absolutely huge win! Bayer Leverkusen are one of the biggest, strongest teams in the Bundesliga. In real life they are third or fourth. And that was a huge victory. Muriel and Sam with the goals. Fantastic! As you can see I deserved it. I had more of the ball. Both teams only had two shots on target. So they, they were really clinical in front of goal. So here are the latest results from the Bundesliga and Dortmund couldn't beat München Gladbach with 10 men, which is absolutely a brilliant result for us. Finally they dropped some points, Bayern Munich on the other hand beat Wolfsburg 2-0, but that's not a bad result for us because Wolfsburg were actually ahead of us in the Bundesliga uh, and now I think we are level on points with them, let's see the Bundesliga table right now as you can see we are level on points with Wolfsburg and we are only six points behind uh, Dortmund which is absolutely brilliant we closed the gap and we are four points clear of Bayern Munich so this is promising to be a very exciting season and now it's time to turn our attention to the European qualifiers I'm manager of the England national team and as you can see we started quite badly with two draws so uh, we have to uh, win our next game and this will be the team, Gerard is back from his injury and uh, we are playing Belgium at home who are leading the group with a 100% record. This will be a very very big challenge for our team. Let's see what we can do guys at Wembley, come on! Welcome to Wembley, England against Belgium, huge game in the European qualifiers because Belgium Belgium are with a 100% record, as you can see, they won their games. We couldn't beat Bulgaria and Sweden, which was a real shame. Let's try and win here. Rooney! Ah, oh, what a chance! Oh, go on, Gibbs. Finish, Rooney! No! How did you not score, Rooney? How did he miss that, Rooney? Come on! Oh, that's so close. Oh no, he has done me. And again, oh shit. Oh, what a chance, Benteke. So I make a sub, I bring on Zaha for Henderson, I, and I thought, let's put Storage and Walcott up front, Rooney behind them, Gerard as the holding midfielder, and uh, Zaha and Young of the Weeks. So hopefully, this team can win us the game. Go on, Storage. Come on! No way! No way, Storage! How did you miss that? Zaha! No way! Another great save by the Belgium goalkeeper. It's a board draw, I can't believe it. It's the third draw in our group. With only draws, we won't make the Euros. Not a chance. We absolutely have to win our next game. Well, against Belgium, who are top of the group, it's not the worst result, but really not beating play teams like Sweden or Bulgaria has really haunted us, because Bulgaria now are way, way ahead of us, which is really unfortunate. So this is how our group looks like. It's a, oh, it's a dreadful, dreadful looking group for England. We absolutely have to beat Northern Ireland in the next game. And I will end the episode here, so if you want to see daily uploads in the Sharka Carrier mode, make sure 
to leave a like and also recommend me maybe a different formation with England. Who should I play? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Like the video if you did. See you later. Goodbye. Wow, I'm really nervous. We are not on our best form. We just lost the previous game in the 88th minute. I'm still gutted about that and angry, but let's turn out that our attention into Europe. Benfica and Anderlecht are already through to the next round of the Champions League.